caught on camera. A close call between a pup and a hawk in Siena. You see the hawk come into the screen, fly down, nearly snatch a family's dog. Janelle Bluda talks with the family about this scary moment. Just four pounds and 12 weeks old, wrapped up in a white fur coat. Little Lola is cute, cuddly, and very curious. But that little pup's young life was almost cut short last week. I didn't even see it until it was already right on top of her. That's how fast it happened. There she is outside in the front yard. There was nothing I could have done to have stopped it because I didn't see it until it was already. She would have already been gone. When a red tailed hawk suddenly swooped in and tried to grab her. It felt like he was right there and just it was so fast. It just happened so fast and then I, I honestly thought he had gotten her. Luckily, mom was just a few feet away. I don't know if it's that she ran so fast or that it saw me. And the hawk was unsuccessful. As for hawk attacks, the Wildlife Center of Texas wants pet owners to know while they can happen, they say it's rare. It's a possibility that the hawk could have grabbed the dog and could have done some damage, possibly even killed the dog, but this is a very rare occurrence for hawks. And say owners should stay careful at all times because predators can come in many forms. All kinds of wildlife and also domestic pets. Like if a, a large dog was off leash in the neighborhood, that's um, obviously a threat for that small dog. And that's obviously more likely also. A threat that sadly Catherine knows firsthand. She says her other pup, Cassie, a 14 year old Chihuahua, was killed last year by the neighbor's dog. She was at their fence barking and the other dog from the hole that they had dug reached in and grabbed her and took her and mauled her to death. She says they see hawks in Siena all the time. Terrible in our area. So she's protective to begin with, but with this most recent attempt. Watch them like a hawk. <laughs> Lola's never leaving her sight. In Siena, Janelle Bluda, KHOU 11 News.